In this video I'm going to be working out an individual integral. We're going to take a look at the integral of sine x quantity squared dx. Now before we get started on this, we're going to take a look at some identities here. I have a double angle um, identity. Cosine 2x equals 1 minus 2 sine x quantity squared. Alright, that's a pretty common double angle formula. Alright, and then from here you can just do algebra and manipulations. Alright, rewriting the equation. I've got 2 sine squared x is equal to 1 minus cosine 2x. Alright, I can divide off the 2 off both sides. I'm going to have 1 half here, this quantity divided by 2, and then going ahead just uh, doing the extra step over here as opposed to into the integral here. If I factor out that 1 half, then I'm going to have a 1 minus cosine 2x. Alright, so I have a quantity here that I can substitute for sine squared x. Okay, that's going to then make this integral a whole lot easier. So the first thing right off the bat I'm going to do is make that substitution. So then I'm going to have the integral of a 1 half times the quantity 1 minus cosine 2x and then dx. Alright, I'm going to pull this 1 half out in front and then I'm going to take these two and write them as individual integrals. So then I'm going to have a 1 half out in front. I'll have the integral of 1 dx minus the integral of cosine 2x dx. Alright, this one is going to be easy to integrate. This also is going to be easy to integrate. This is going to be a straight u substitution. We'll go ahead and show uh, most of those steps for that. Alright, so we'll have the one half out in front. Integrating one with respect to dx, I'll get an x, and then it's going to be minus. Alright, now let's take this and go ahead and show our u substitution. So I'm going to let my u equal the 2x, which is the inside there. Taking the derivative of both sides, I'll have a du equals a 2dx. Dividing both sides by that 2, I'll have a du over 2 equal in the dx. Alright, so we can come up here and we can rewrite this integral. We'll have the integral of cosine u times, replacing dx with what it equals, I'll have a du over 2. Alright, now I'm going to pull out the 1 half here. So I'll have the 1 half times quantity x minus. Pulling out that 1 half, I'll have a 1 half. The integral cosine u du. Alright, this is a straight integration. That's going to integrate to a sine. So we'll have a 1 half times the quantity x minus 1 half. Integrating cosine, I get a sine. So sine u and then plus c. I need to replace u with what it equals. So I'll have a 1 half times the quantity x minus 1 half sine 2x. And then the last thing then would be just to go ahead and distribute that 1 half right there. So I'll have a 1 half x minus a 1 fourth sine 2x plus c. So definitely a straightforward, um, nice integral after you make that initial substitution. You've really got to have a handle of your trig identities and how you can take a known trig identity, manipulate it into whatever you might need to make a substitution to make the integral um, just a little bit easier for you. Definitely thanks for watching. If the videos are helping, please share with your friends so that they can benefit too. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Thanks.